And for more, let's get you out to Foxborough, where our lead voice, Tony Romo, joins us with analysis on the back end of this one. Crazy fourth quarter, Tony, back and forth battle. A lot of resolve shown here by New England. But I want to start here with the reigning NFC champions. When you know what it takes to get where you're trying to go, can it make things harder in moments like these early in a season when you know there's so many axe swings out in front of you? Well, yes and no. I mean, you really do take it day by day and game by game in the National Football League. But this was a really important game for multiple reasons. And one of them is game one is the most tape that anyone's going to have you know, to watch as a team and as coaching staff. Like, you have, like, five months because you want to get off to such a good start. So this first game or two, you're studying these guys, the anticipation. You're like, I'm just going to go watch more tape, and it's, you know, April on the first opponent. So that was scary for me if I'm an Eagles fan because no one really had a great answer for how to slow this offense down. It was almost self-imposed when they would kind of have a lull here and there. So to me, if Belichick put together an incredible plan and slows you down completely, the rest of the league copies that, then you've got to change. So I think this is a huge victory for them. And uh, they did have four three and outs during a stretch, which is the most that Jalen Hurts has had. And they didn't have any last year when he was playing quarterback. So I think that they have to go back and, you know, fix some things. But I do think winning is what it's all about. It's hard to win on the road. The Eagles are fine. They're going to be in this thing all the way to the end. They're still right there as a class of the NFC. Uh, new coordinators on both sides of the ball here, Tony, is both uh, – head to other places for head coaching jobs. Did you see any pressure points in that vein, the continuity that you're looking for earlier in the season for a team as talented as the Eagles? Yeah, I mean, that's always going to be a little bit of like a work in progress. It's like the coordinator and the coach, or the coordinator and the quarterback are going to be in sync. And the longer you're with someone and the way you see things, it's like a synergy that makes it super easy or it can take a little bit. But then once you get it, you're like, got it. He really wants this in these situations. And the last fourth and two call, I was like having the ability to use his legs a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that those are the subtle things that you'll see that could change. And uh, I think both teams are just learning their teams right now, right? The coordinators, you got to see them when everything's going live, and I think that uh, you get a lot of data then, and yeah. they'll keep improving, both of them. Yeah, trying to establish that identity here early in the season. It's one of the buzzwords we love to yeah. throw around, and identity in Foxborough was assumed for the better part of two decades. I mean, it was celebrated at halftime in some ways. As they try and reestablish an identity, did you see glimpses of what they have to be if they want to be relevant, competitive in this division? Oh, yeah, I mean... Well, if you almost beat the Eagles, mm -hmm. who I think are one of the three teams, I think you're going to find that you're going to, you know, I said earlier in the game, I, this team's going to be competitive all year. There'll be a game here and there, but for the most part, no one's walking over this team. They are too dynamic on defense, too multiple. They got size. They got speed. Uh, they're intelligent. Still young, too. And um, I think that you're going to find this offense was what I really wanted to see. And today, they really showed up against an incredible front. And they... Um, you know, kind of held them at bay, and they had a great plan. Bill O'Brien's going to help. I think the, I think the Patriots are for real this year. Now, maybe the hardest schedule, definitely for the division in ball, and that uh, you could be a good team and not make the playoffs because of that. But we'll see. I think the Patriots are going to be just fine this year. Everybody's trying to get to Vegas. We know our Tony Romo will be there. Tony, we appreciate <laughs> your thoughts here out of week one. Be well, my friend. You guys too. Thank you. And don't forget this season, The Road to Vegas is coming to you streaming on Paramount+. Plus. All your CBS action also streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Watch your team with our team today.